So welcome back, students, to graphing our functions. Now we're going to graph f of x is equal to x squared. So just like we did with the previous function, which we call our y or f of x equals x, we're going to choose values of x and then calculate, this time, x squared, because that's what our function is asking for. So once again, let me choose a negative value. I'm going to choose x equals negative 2. I could have chosen any of these negative numbers or even something even smaller than negative 5. The problem with that is that the farther you get away from the center, from the origin, the higher up your y is going to be, or maybe too low, and it's going to be off of my graph. So x equals negative 2, when I square negative 2, that's negative 2 times negative 2. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So we'll have a positive 4 here. So my ordered pair, x, f of x, will be negative 2, comma 4. x is negative 2, y, or f of x, is 4. Right there. Let's go ahead and choose our origin, 0. 0 squared is just 0 times 0 which is 0. My ordered pair is the origin. And then positive 2 would be another value. So positive 2 squared is going to be 2 times 2, which is equal to, once again, positive 4. So positive 2, positive 4 x is positive 2, f of x is positive 4. Now one thing I want to caution you about is that it's not going to be straight lines that connect these two values to the origin. Let me choose a couple more values here so you can see what's going to happen and that it's actually going to be a curve for our quadratic function. So if x is 1, we'll have 1 squared, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. My ordered pair would be 1 comma 1, so x is 1, and y or f of x is 1. And then the same thing, it'll be the same value of f of x if x is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So we have x is negative 1, f of x is positive 1. Negative 1 positive 1. Here is how this graph is going to look. You can see it's much more of a curve, kind of like a, a bowl or a cup. It's not linear. We call it quadratic. So anything that has, any function that has a square on it will have this form. Actually, any function that has an even exponent x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, and so on, will have a shape like a u shape. What happens as the exponent gets larger is that the bottom of the u gets wider and flatter, so it becomes more like a cup sitting on a table. Hope this helps, and I'll see you soon to graph more functions.